Hello everyone. So today in this video, we are going to discuss some another UI elements, right? So in our previous video, you observed that we uh, did with the text view and one button, right? So whenever the user clicks on this, so it is going to change the text of this particular text view, right? So uh, today we are going to use one another ui element that is added text right so before going to that let's make some changes over here and then we can make added text so first of all i'm just going to put this down over here and uh, i'm going to change this one right then i'm just going to put this center vertical true and i want my text view below the button right so layout below i'm going to use and id is equals to button i want some space between them so i'm going to use margin top is equals to 30 dp right it looks nice right okay so uh here i'm just keeping the text as a particular welcome to android later on we are going to change that text with the use of edit text whenever we are adding some input to that right so now let's just uh, add the edit text over here so as usual the two main mandatory fields are width that is i'm going to keep it as a match parent and uh, the height is i'm going to keep it as a wrap content right so you can observe the edit text added over here similarly i'm just going to put center vertical true right and uh, i'm just going to put all these contains so below it layout below okay first i need to add the id of it so id is equals to id edit text edit text uh, let's say hello right i'm just keeping that close and here i'm just going to put id add text hello right now it's fine now you can observe this over here that uh, we have this particular width is a match parent right so you can observe that you can just put it over here like uh, 300 dp okay so that will keep the particular thing uh, let me put it also in a center horizontal true so you can get the idea right so here you can see that you can also display this as a third 300 dp right but it is not the recommended way right as we discussed in our last video that we have a different screen size so we keep it as it is match parent now uh, another thing i'm just going to add over here that uh, I want to add the text into this. So text is equals to uh, first name, right? So you can put it as a first name, right? Now it doesn't look good. So I'm just putting another parameters, like, so here I'm just going to put margin left is equals to uh, you can say 50 dp and margin right you can also put the 50 dp right so now you can see over here that it uh, looks like this okay so uh, you can also do this guys right instead of uh, using this margin parameters over here as we have a relative layouts then you can use a padding is equals to uh, 50 dp right so that also works fine with this right so you may have a question that what is the difference between margin and padding right so here you can see that this is our relative layout blue line right then uh, this is our first ui element right so this there is a diff uh, there is a gap between this first name and relative layout you can observe that right i'm just mark my words that is the relative layout side so the gap between ui element and relative layout that is inside the element right so that represents the padding and 
the gap between the UI element and the screen, the whole screen outside of this blue line, you can observe the gray lines, right? So that particular represents the whole screen, right? So the different, uh, the gap between UI element and the screen that is the outside of the element, right? So that is represented as the margin, right? So according to your requirement, you can just choose any one of it where you want the particular gap, right? So this is the difference between margin and padding, right? So you here also you can add another parameters like uh, now you can see this is the text, right? Default text. I don't want the default text over here. So instead of text, you can just put the hint, right? So you may have observed that enter name, right? You can observe that now it is in a gray color, right? So you can add it or by overwriting this particular thing, right? So that is the hint. It gives you the hint what kind of input you need to enter into this particular user element, right? So that is the hint. So instead of text, uh, I'm just going to use a hint over here. I want to give hint to my user that this kind of input you just enter over here, right? Now, the next is a text color. As usual, we can change, right? So here there are different colors we have right you can put any of the color right and that will be reflected over here you can change it from over here also that is a purple okay then after that you can also add the style text style right so i want the bold okay so this is another attribute another important attribute you can over here is that lines right so what is the meaning of lines, right? So here you can see, suppose if I put a three, then you can observe that it is expanded, right? So here, suppose if you want to take the input as an address, right? So it requires the more number of lines. So in that case, you can just put the lines parameter over here, right? So here you can see by default, it is a one, right? So you can put it as a one, so it, it looks like this, or you can leave it as it is, right? But if you want a multiple line, then you can just provide these particular parameters, right? So that is over here, okay? So right now the default one is a line, so we are not going to change it over here. Another important attribute you can provide is input type, right? So this is a very important one, right? So as you see that whenever we are taking the input from the user, so there are different types of inputs we are taking, right? So it either it's a date, date, time, number, phone, text, you can see, right? So text, email, right? There are lots of things are there, text, password. So most probably uh, password, email, and that kind of inputs we are taking, right? So let's suppose say if I'm taking a text password over here, right? So whenever you are using a he instead of int that is a text right so you can observe that now it is changed to the particular symbols right dot 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 okay so here you can see you can observe that you can just take the input types right so right now we are not going to do with that anyone but you can just observe these are the parameters you can change for this particular input types right so these are okay so i'm done with my uh, particular ui right so you can observe that we already have created the button and textbooks uh, text view in a previous video and here we are just added the edit text right so now let's jump onto the code what things we are going to achieve over here so already i have created the button and text view uh, references objects right so now let me create with the edit text. So edit txt hello is equals to find by id r dot id dot edit text hello, right? So here you can observe that now we reference three particular text is right? Three particular objects. Now we have the references of all three UI elements. Now what I want to do whenever user inputs anything in the edit text, when I click on the button, that will be uh, that will be shown that will be displayed in a text view right so for that very simple so first of all as we are going for the button hello that is my button object and set on click listener right 
new view on click listener right so we are just adding the on click listener over here and we are just going to write the code within the on click event right so here what i want to add you so whenever user click on that the particular entered text in the edit text will be displayed in a text view so very simple right so the first thing i need to get the string from the particular edit text so i'm just defining one string variable str is equals to right edit text hello dot that's one method that is known as the get text right and this is the Java's concept, right? So I need to convert it to to string. So that will fetch the string and store in the particular str, right? Now, the next thing, now I got the string, right? But where I need to display? So I need to display in a text view. So text view dot, that is a set text method over here, right? And into that, I'm just going to provide the string okay guys right so it's a very simple logic so whenever user click on it this particular edit text input will be displayed in a text view so let's jump onto the output let's run the code first right so this is our previous one so now it is loading installing a new one okay so this is our output right so this is our hint under the name so here i'm just going to add kunal patel right and i'm just going to click so you can observe the output that is kunal patel right so that's it guys so this is edit text and this is very frequently used this all three controls are very frequently used in any android applications right thank you for watching